Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to playoff soccer here at Buckeye Valley High School. You notice I have this big hat on because it's raining. I feel it looks like an either a cowboy hat or a witch hat. I don't really think it's protecting me much from the rain. But what is exciting, Delaware Rising is taking on Panthers FC today in the first ever women's playoff in Nozzle as well as the first ever minor league soccer playoff match hosted here in Delaware. So many amazing things, and this is just our women's first season. They are kicking butt and hopefully gonna kick some butt today too against Panthers so that we move on to the final in Mount Vernon. So many fun things happening today. We've got the merch tent up right behind us. We have Kona Ice, we've blocked it off just for them. They're gonna be hanging out during the game as well. So many fun things like raffles, halftime entertainment, so we're gonna go dive into all of that, but let's go check with the team first before this historic match. We're with Dan the Man. He is going to be streaming our first ever home playoff match here in Delaware. Huge historical moment. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident about it this afternoon. Uh, it's the third matchup of the season so far between Delaware and Panthers. Uh, we've been fortunate to come away with at least a result in both matchups, so I think we definitely match up well. Certainly hope to uh, come away with a win because that's what the only reason we're getting out of here today is with a win. That's right. And hopefully making it to the final in Mount Vernon. And what is your score prediction for today? My score, match? we've scored three goals in each of our two matchups, so I'm going with keeping with tradition and going with a 3-1 result in favor of Delaware Rising. Love to hear it. Good stuff, Dan. Appreciate it, man. Good luck on the stream. Yep. We are about 15 minutes into the second half here, locked in 1-1. One, one. We're here with Landon Coombe and Chris Stoll from the Delaware Rising men's team. What, what are you seeing out there, guys? What do you think? It looks good. We're starting to attack more, get more chances. I think we're going we're gonna to get one here soon. What about you, Chris? What are you seeing out there? Uh, they got to slow the game down a little bit. Uh, once yeah. they can do that, they'll, uh, they'll have a bit more success, and uh, goal's coming here soon. Well said. Absolutely. Appreciate the insight, boys.
wins the first playoff game in Delaware Rising history. 3-2, full time. Evan Worley, the manager, man of the hour, first one in Delaware Rising history for either team. How are you feeling? Uh, it feels great. Um, the girls worked super hard, not only to make playoffs, but to also have a home playoff game. Um, and I think the second half, they really showed up and really put the effort out there to, to take advantage of that. And now we go again next week. Yeah. Uh, you guys ready for next week? Go for that trophy? We will be. We'll, we'll enjoy it tonight, and then we'll have a nice long week of training and recovery to, to prep for next week. Straight to business. I like yeah. it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. We are here with Rachel. First one on the score sheet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how'd that feel? It was good. It was good. I mean, they scored one on us. It was nice to come back quick and get it, take it back to them so we could calm down a little after the goal, just get set back to what we were doing before. Absolutely. Feel good. It's getting testy out there, so I, it feel good to stick it to them? It did. It felt really good. Both times. <laughs> All three times, All actually. Three. Yeah. But. Well, heck yeah. Well, thank you, and good luck next week. Thank you. Not only did we just host the first ever minor league soccer game in Delaware at Buckeye Valley High School, we have won that match as well. We have a 3-2 victory for Delaware Rising. The ladies did awesome, especially with a shorter bench too. Really putting in the effort, showing the fight, some great goals as well. And now that means we have one week to prepare to head to Mount Vernon for the final, the actual playoff match for the other two teams is about to happen shortly after this, so we'll find out who we're going to be playing soon. But we are the first one to punch our tickets for that 45 minute drive out northeast. We are stoked. We appreciate all of the fans, the players, everyone that was here to make this historic day happen and this historic win happen. We will see you all in one week from today in Mount Vernon for that final match. Our first playoff win. We can't beat it in club history. Let's go.